Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. So I got a pretty cool Pixelcade update for you. So for quite some time, I've been wanting to do more in-game events on Pixelcade. So when you're actually playing the game, certain things happen in the game, then Pixelcade will, will do stuff, essentially. So recently just partnered with the developer of Doffling, so thank you very much for that. Um, let me give you a quick demo of how that works. Right now we've got about 15 or so games, main games specifically enabled. Uh, but it's very extensible, we can add more, you could actually help out with, we'll have some tutorials on how to do that. But let me give you a quick demo and show you how it works. Okay, so as I'm playing the game, pay attention to Pixelcade LED, which I have here, as well as Pixelcade Dot, which is a sub-display here, which is actually showing the scores in real time, which is pretty cool. So, that is how that works. That is this game, 1942. So you see that as I shoot a plane, I'll get a little explosion and it goes back to the marquee. Let me just demo some other games for you. So we've got all the 1940X, 4X games. Uh, let's do this one just to show you. There are different explosions based on different planes. So you'll see that uh, in some of these as I progress through the game. Yeah, so that was a different explosion there. So that is those. I'll skip some of those. Um, Arkanoid, let me show you that one. So it'll just do a little animation as I break a block. And for Arkanoid, I've only enabled uh, Pixelcade LED, so nothing's happening on LCD right now. Not that it couldn't, it's just not set up right now. So that is Arkanoid. So as the frogger goes home, does a little animation like that. Okay, so as I complete this level, watch, it's gonna say level, level complete. Or level up. Okay, so this is Galaga, and this is actually an experimental feature that's not released yet, but you'll notice when I shoot multiple sh bugs at the same time, the animations are a little, they overlap a little bit. So it's an overlay feature. So it's a little, it's good for games like this that have a lot of action going on. So that's something I'm working on. But right now, let me show you what happens if I can get to the challenge stage. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a perfect score here. Okay, so watch what happens at the top. Get a little cool animation there. So that is Galaga. Okay, so very similar. You can kind of get the gist there. Very similar effect to Galaga. Um, Galaxian. Okay, so here's Gore. So you can see how it changed to say Space Cadet, which is the level I'm on. And I actually had this working before with uh, prior integration with LED Blinky, so it's, it's the same thing. But if I get to the end level, which I'll try to do here, it will, um, it'll change to Space Captain and then we'll also see an explosion if we can kill the flagship. Okay, so there's the explosion that happens and then it'll change to Space Captain, just like that. Here's Donkey Kong. Watch what happens as I jump over the barrels. Okay, now we'll see a little animation play at the top for the next level, just like that. Cherry animation. There's a power pellet animation that goes so if I hit the space invaders, it's getting a little different animation. You notice the different animations are colored depending on which level I hit. Um, 
This can all be customized, by the way. So these are all things that we can change. Okay, so this is kind of another similar one to like Galaga, where it's just gonna you know, show a lot of explosions, basically. I think this one I also did the experimental overlay as well, so that's why it's not going back to the original marquee. Over time, we'll of course add support for more games. So to get the latest and greatest, just run the Pixelcade artwork updater. This is the same updater that you've been using this whole time to get the latest artwork. Now including, in addition to the latest artwork, you also get the latest configuration files for DOF links to add support for more MAME games. So just run that over time and you'll have the latest and greatest. Now if you want to go deeper and actually customize your own games and add your own events, that's actually possible. So I would encourage you to check out the video, the separate video I've made on how to do that. There's also some good information if you go back into your DOF links folder here, click on the guide section, there's a lot of information in here as well you can check out. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thanks to the developer of Dofflinks. Um, it was great working with him, collaborating on this. Like I had to make some code changes on my side. He did a lot of code changes on his side and we're able to make this all possible. So big thanks to him. Um, he does not charge for this. He just does it out of passion. But, uh, you know, for those of you, if you see value here and you're interested, he does accept donations to kind of help keep things going. So if you like it, I'll include a link uh, to this in this YouTube video, but definitely check that out if you like it. You know, of course, it's much appreciated to drop them a, a little bit there. It is a lot of work to do all this stuff. Um, and there's lots of more information, by the way, on VP forums. Just do a Google search on Dofflinks and you'll find a ton of stuff. So let me know what you think about all that. I personally think it's pretty cool, but I'd love your feedback. And then also, like, what are your favorite MAME games that you'd like to see enabled to do this interactive stuff? Um, that would be great as well, because um, with this new architecture, it's very extensible. It just takes some work to do the custom artwork and then define the triggers for each game, but it's very doable. So let me know what game you'd like to see on this, and that's something we can work on. As always, thanks for tuning in.